is Frankie Abazino with The Scoop. Okay, guys, this picture here, this is Todd Bowden. I keep bringing him up. We've been talking about his sexual, sexual harassment allegations made against him by an individual, primarily a principal. I think, believe there's another party, but it's mainly a principal of one of the local schools. And now he's come out and said there's been sexual harassment towards him. And guess what? My su uh, school board superintendent. It's really getting heated up. You know what? I'm wondering right, right about now. If the school board is wondering, did we make the right decision going with him? When they went with him, he, they knew there were allegations of sexual harassment out there. They suspected, that I believe they suspected, that there would be legal matters and legal fees, which we're paying. We're paying a, a third party to come in and look at some of the allegations that have been made. And we, the county taxpayers, are paying to for him to lawyer up. Now, it's, it, it's getting really strange. I'm not sure what's going on there, but... He's saying that there was a, it's being alleged, and I'll put the Herald's link up here because they go into detail. They've been all over this investigative reporting it. Um, they say that there was an angry call during the negotiations for the salary increase for the teachers. And he's accusing um, superintendent, school or not superintendent, school board member Cheryl Brown, uh, Shirley Brown, I'm sorry, of uh, sexually harassing him in around mid January. He said that she, um, uh, this is all alleged. That um, she said that him, Ty Bowden, and the teachers' union executive director needed to get laid, but that would be sexual harassment. Um, I guess he took offense to it. He wrote the school board and said, "Look, this is what went down. I'm not happy. I don't want anything to happen to Shirley. I'm just letting you know it's a concern." And that um, I wanted noted and documented. Well, Shirley Brown responded, according to the Herald, about two days later. And she said that she was surprised by the revelations. She said that they strongly disagreed on the phone, but that her, when she, during the conversation, her husband was there. And he says that she never made any commentary like that. Um, so where the truth lies, I do not know. Uh, but right about now, I... I'm assuming if I was on the school board, a lot of these guys are thinking, what the heck did we do going with Todd? Again, I've said this before. Todd's, I have no problem with Todd. Todd's never, he's, I've communicated via email with him. He seems like a nice enough guy, but there's so much luggage, bad, there's so much, um, what's the word, too much uh, luggage comes along with him. And I'm wondering now if we should have just made another choice. All right. I'm sure this is going to get even more controversial as the months go on. This has been Frankie Abrazino with The Scoop.